Okay, lesson 12.1, writing equations to represent situations, has some vocabulary in it that we're going to check out real quick before we get started. When I look at my um, vocabulary page, or my not vocabulary page, what is this? my first page, my introduction, an equation. You guys, we've been studying what an expression is. Um, equations are going to have an equal sign, and it's going to be like that scale that is balanced. This is like the equal sign, the middle. And whatever this side says, it needs to be equal to this side. So an equation has an equal sign. A solution is when you find out uh, what number that letter represents. Remember the letters are called variables. So once you figure out what number that variable is supposed to be, then you have found a solution. So let's look at, did not mean to do that. Let's look at, um, I don't even know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Good night. Let me pause. Let's look at example A right here. Okay, on your paper, in your notes, you're going to write down the um, equation x plus 9 equals 15. And then they're saying x equals 6. We're going to see if that's true or not. x equals 6. So you're going to take out the x and you're going to put a 6. So rewrite the equation 6 plus 9 equals 15. Now is that true? Yes, it is. So you would say x equals 6 because it is true. Let's look at b. y divided by 4 equals negative 32. Okay, and then they're saying y equals negative 8. So let's rewrite the problem. Negative 8 divided by 4 equals negative 32. Well, what is 8 divided by 4? 8 divided by 4 is 2. And when you look at your Dorito, negative 8 divided by positive 4 gives us a negative answer. And we said it's 2. That would be negative 2. So is that negative 32? No. When you multiply those two, you get negative 32, but not divide. So the way we would write that is like this. It's pretty neat. Y does not equal, like that, negative 32. All right, last example on this page for C. All right, C says 8X equals 72 when x equals 9. All right, now, you guys, when you take out the x and put in a 9, that does not mean 89. No, 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 no. It means 8 times 9. Remember, when the letter and the number are right next door to each other, no spaces or anything in between, that means multiply. So we're going to take 8 times 9. Does that equal 72? Yeah. So x does equal 9. That is a true statement. Continuing on with the notes, you're going to write down number 1. We're looking at number 1 right here. It says, whoops, is that an 11, right? Okay. We're looking at 11 equals n plus 6, and they're saying, does n equal 5 in this problem? So let's take out the n and put a 5 plus 6. Are they balanced? Is this side equal to this side? Yes, it is. So we can say that n does equal 5. Number 2 says y minus 6 equals 24. And they're asking if when we take out the y and put in 18, is that true? So we're going to do that. We're going to take out the y. Say hi, Mark. Hi. <laughs> we're going to take out the y and put what? 18. 18 minus 6 equals 
24. Is that true? When you do this math right here, do you get 24? No. If you added them together, you would get 24, but this is subtraction. 18 minus 6 is actually what? It's really 12. So we can say that y does not equal 18. And the last one, number 3, 36 divided by x equals 9. And they're saying, does x equal 4? So if we take out x and replace it with 4, is that equal to 9? Is 36 divided by 4 equal to 9? It is. So then we can say x equals 4. You're going to have to understand how to write equations. Uh, here's look at example 2. This is what it's going to be like. It says Mark scored, hey, Mark was just in here. Mark scored 17 points for the home team. So we're looking at these right here. Um, and you guys are all in lunchtime. Mark scored 17 points for the home team in a basketball game. His teammates as a group scored P points. Well, we don't know how many, so we're putting a P there. A lot of the times they'll use, like if they're talking about points, they'll use that first letter to, um, as the variable in the problem. So points start with P, they'll use P. Not all the time. That's not always true, but a lot of times they do that. So we're going to write an equation. So here's Mark's points. They're saying 17, which is what he made, plus whatever the teammates made adds up to 46. And that's it. That's all you're doing. You're not solving it. Um, they're just asking you to write the equation. So let's look at number four. Marilyn has a fish tank that contains um, 38 fish. Okay, so that's like your total. 38 fish. There are nine goldfish and F other fish. Okay, so you can say 38 total is equal to the nine goldfish plus those other fish. Okay, you don't have to solve it. We're just writing the equation. Look at number five. Juanita, and you guys on these notes, um, you can just write this part right here. Okay, so you'll write number five. Juanita has, don't write the story. You don't have to unless you want to. Juanita has 102 beads to make in necklaces. Each necklace will have 17 beads. Okay, so all of these beads, she is going to, um, she has 102, and she's going to divide them up into however many necklaces she needs. Okay, we don't know, but that's going to equal 17 beads per necklace. Number six, Craig is C years old. His 12-year-old sister, Becky, is three years younger than Craig. Okay, so if you take Craig's age <clears throat> and you um, if you take the age that Craig is and you subtract 12, you'll get 3. Now let me tell you that there's other ways to do this. Okay, that's not the only way. You could also take 12 um, and then 3 years younger than Craig. No, that's it. All right, number 7. Sonia rented ice skates for H hours. We don't know how many hours, so we'll put the letter H there to represent that. The rental fee was $2 per hour, and she paid a total of $8. So it would be 2 times h. So let's practice putting the number right next to the variable. 2 times h. And what is it equal when they do all that? 8. The last part says writing an equation and checking solutions. You can substitute a given value. That means a number. Number. For the variable, which is the letter. Okay, variables or letters, in an equation to check if that value makes the equation true. Sarah used, oh, I love it when they put my students' names in the stories. Even though this is not spelled the same way, let's just take that out. 
Let's see if I can change it to white and then just color over the H. There. It's like white out. Sarah used a gift card to buy $47 worth of groceries. Now she has $18 left on her gift card. Write an equation to determine whether Sarah had $65 or $59 on the gift card before buying groceries. So whatever your card is, that's what you start with, however much money is there, and then we're subtracting what she spent, and that's going to equal how much is left. We don't know how much was on the card when we started, but we know that she spent $47 and now she has $18 left. And they're saying, which one would work here? 65, no, yeah, 65 or 59. Okay, so you're going to have to actually come over here and do it. 65 minus 47 is 18. Yeah, that's the one that works because 59, all right, 59 minus 47 is equal to 12. Okay and that's not 18, so then it's 65. X equals 65.